Okay, the next part, and a lot of people are maybe still for um, having trouble with the vocabulary and how to break down a word. So I went there and I, I actually thought that synthesize was probably the most difficult word, so I decided to look that up. Now, uh, synthesize, it does not have a suffix or prefix. I actually looked that up too. Uh, there is some words that are related to it, but it doesn't have a suffix or prefix. So in the digital reading log, um, I've just put it down here in the vocabulary, uh, synthesize, and it's going to say uh, no suffix or prefix. Okay, um, now when you're doing this, if I press enter, it's just going to go down. So I'm just going to do two slash marks, no suffix or prefixes. Uh, does it sound positive or negative? Um, I would say in this case it's positive. Um, because it helps us make connections. Then I put those two little dash marks. Uh, then I think about some other parts. Uh, is it a noun or a verb or an adjective? Synthesize, synthesized, I, synthesi I synthesized the text today. So if I can add ed or ing, it becomes a verb. Then I put those two little lines again. Uh, then I'm thinking, uh, do I picture anything when I synthesize? And then I'm thinking, and if I close my eyes, and I'll get my eyes closed, close my eyes, and then I start to imagine things and synthesize, okay, um, do I see things? I just see uh, putting putting information. together, making connections. I actually see a web, information web. That's what I see when I uh, see that word. Uh, so that's talking about it. And probably the last thing we're going to do is the meaning. So what does this meaning uh, of synthesize mean. Then I went up and I looked it up in the dictionary and I saw different meanings. Some meanings it says about chemically put together, but that doesn't seem right. Another one means to produce something electronically. That didn't seem how it was used. Then I found this Webster Meridian uh, one there and it said to make something by combining different things, to, con to combine things in order to make something new. And then I thought, that's probably it, because we're combining uh, different ideas, and that's um, to make something new. So I've got the idea in my head to make something, combining to make something new. I like that one. So meaning, I put a little colon there, combining to make something new. And that's about it. So. I've got it, it's a positive word. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put these in there. There's no suffix or prefixes, verb. Um, okay, and that's about it. So that's how you would do a word breakdown. It's not just about writing a simple meaning there, but really understanding about how words are formed. Um, I'm going to share this John Cena digital reading notebook with you so you can all see what the examples look like, what your digital reading notebook actually uh, looks like, so you can see that sample. Your digital reading log is pretty much the same. It's just practicing the same things you're doing in your digital reading notebook. Bingo, bango, you can kill two birds with one stone. You just need to keep practicing reading. That's the most important thing you can do during uh, the distance learning time.